Yo, what's going on, guys? Mr. Bird here. Today we're gonna be playing this 2.6 Jaina Execute Cycle deck. In my opinion, it's one of the top, if not the top, deck in the new fortification mode, along with the Dragon Towers. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. The reason why, I, also I should say it's a bit early to say what is the best deck because the fortification mode just came out recently, but it's better to have an opinion rather than just not say anything at all, right? And if you guys disagree with me or agree with me, let me know in the comment section what you think. I'll give you my reason on why this deck has the potential to be the number one deck at the end of the season. Fortification mode is where the tower health is doubled. Pretty much every other unit in the game, their strength is halved because the tower is now doubled. The tower health is doubled. However, the only unit or the only spell in the game that doesn't rely on actual damage, it's a function of percentage. I've played this deck before the fortification change and I played it after. The damage that Execute does on the tower is identical. So it's just a higher percentage, right? The same amount of health goes down, if you guys can understand where, where I'm coming from. But on, my, on the other hand, Jane is a super underrated defensive unit. You don't need her to go past the halfway mark. She's not going to be on the enemy tower half the time because there's a lot of things in the meta, such as a safe pilot, that can take her out. But in double time, in overtime, where the cycle becomes really fast, you could potentially cycle three or four executes just on their tower. You don't need to wait for your units to go at the tower. A quick overview of the talents that I'm running. The first one is uh, the clear casting. Essentially, it's, a, it's not a super impactful one, but it's the one I chose in this case. So what it means is I play Jaina and I play execute right after Jaina and I play it for two gold instead of three. It just speeds up my cycle. Everything else that I've got here is pretty much top of the meta in terms of usage rate. So it's going to be good in, it's a good support, these are all good supporting units. Chain Lightning, I like the stun talent, it has a lot of utility in terms of stun talent. Execute, I've got the bloodthirsty talent, but you know, at the end of the day, if you guys have overpower, I would, if I had overpower, I'd probably play overpowered because it's a better defensive card. This Bloodlust talent is not dead in the water because on the off chance, you know, if your Wolf and your Murlocs get on the tower, you can still Bloodlust them to get some additional chip damage. Safe Pilot, I'm running the coming hot because I need some speed to contest or to make up for Jaina's lack of speed and lane control. This deck essentially gives up gold control in the gold mines, but it has really, all four units here can be used to contest the middle chests. And that's all you gotta do for the first three minutes, three and a half minutes until overtime hits. Safety bubble is really, really good. It's good for offense, it's good for defense. There's just plenty of good trades you can come out of that. With the coil ball, I, I've been alternating from bristleback to tunnel vision, but I think bristleback is um, has some benefiting here because everyone else is running coil ball as well. So if you have a coil ball versus coil ball matchup, the coil ball with the bristleback talent is gonna win. And last but not least, I've got the Prowler, and yeah, definitely the Stealth and the Stun Talent is the most utility. It can take out Spear Trolls, it can take out Huntresses, it can take out Safe Pilots, or your annoying range unit, the Prowler can shut them down all by himself. And of course, it can get chests real fast as well. I'm going to jump into some PvP games. We're currently at just over 3,500. We have a match against this guy, or oh, he's, uh, yeah, I don't know if we can beat him. But he's gonna contest the chest, or rather, I will be contesting the chest. I'm gonna try to just play defense. Let's see if I can kill his troll. Oh, I can kill his troll, nice. Okay, yeah, previously we were running Griffin in a lot of our decks and I was having a really hard time against his troll. 
All right, he had to execute. I'm gonna see if I can get the chest. He's probably gonna torrent down mid. Okay, I'm gonna execute like that. Oh, I missed his torrent. No, I missed the tower, I mean. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Can't have blunders like this if I want to beat someone like that. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's up. Man, he knows what's up. Alright. I'm gonna just execute this torrent away. And I'm gonna... Okay. Miss my chain lightning. How am I still in this game? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'll have to go get the chest. That's what I'll tell you. I'll do. Okay. Get a Jaina up and you'll have to drop something. I have to do this. Yep. Oh, we're looking good so far. Nice. I'm liking this matchup. I'm really liking this matchup. Alright, I'm gonna chain lightning. Okay, doesn't kill him because it's level 9. Alright, I nearly forgot. But Jaina will do the finishing blow here. Oh, I think I missed time to chest. Okay, he executed for no reason. For no apparent reason. I'm gonna execute that too. And yeah, two can play at that game. Alright, now we got the chest. Let's go. We're faster than his. His Torrent and Kang is really slow. So, we're looking like it's a good match. We're cycling super fast, and I'm gonna try to focus on killing his troops before we start cycling on his tower. I'm not gonna rush this, because I know he's capable of coming back. So therefore, I'm gonna make sure that we have continue to have gold and lane advantage. Done to kill the griffin, nice. I'm gonna get my prowler up. He might execute this, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I kill him like this. Oh man, he's done this trick on me so many times, it's not even funny. I'm gonna tank the save pilot hit like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the level 9 still dies. Let's go. I'm gonna prowler this. Jane is getting pious, which is really good. He's gonna execute for sure. Let's go. Man, I know your tricks now. You. He's beaten me before um, in our last video. I think I was using Baron. Uh, I'm gonna just save pilot this. And I'm gonna make sure his thing dies. Yep, we've got a nice stun going. His king's trying to get onto the tower, so I'm not going to make him happen. I can't believe I haven't taken any damage on the tower, guys. My tower's on full health. Can you believe this? Man, I had no chance last game, or in the previous games. <laughs> That's an achievement. No damage taken. We got a game against this Murkai player. I'm gonna slow roll a Jainer at the back. Okay, I'm gonna get my wolf down to contest the chest. Oh, interesting. Uh, he's got chain lining as well. I think I'll just wait. Yeah. And about now. He's a bit early on the chest. So I'll just go in and contest. Okay, he's got that timing right. Yeah, if my Jane is on the field, my chain lining will kill him. But if my Jaina is off the field, 
it won't kill him. We have a chest, which is good. Uh, we need to wait for the last minute to cycle execute, because there's no really any good ways of dealing with. Uh, I'm just going to drop it like this. Okay. Get rid of that without chain lining. Yeah, I'm going to cobalt that as well. I think we'll probably lose the chest. Yeah, he's got Merc. Oh, he's going all out. That's fine. Yeah, we got his troops. Okay, I'm going to try to get back to a chain lightning. Yeah, because he's about to do this again. And I'm going to do this. So, yeah, just play your Jaina at the back. Don't expect it to move past the halfway mark, because she's not making past the halfway mark. Let's be real here. Okay, that's a good trade for us. It's a... It's a one. Oh no, I messed it up. I messed it up, but I wolf got on the tower, which is great. Which is great. We got an extra Murkai. So, I'm hoping we do some work. Nice. We've got the chest. I'm gonna get my things up. And yeah, I can do that too. So, the chain lining is really meta, as always. It's important that you guys either carry it or have a countermeasure for things that require chain lining if you don't have chain lining. I'm going to get ready for his Murkai. Follow up with Wolf. Uh, I'm going to take some damage here, which is fine. Okay, you know what? I'll do this. Uh, we got our chest going, so now it's time to cycle. Because he's going he's gonna to go for Murkai as well. Yeah. And we just get him. Like, he's always going to be running Marathon. We just need to make sure we kill him before he can get most of his troops out. And yeah, with Execute, I don't even need to make my Jaina past the halfway mark. Because she's never, ever getting past the halfway mark. We have a Baron matchup. Yeah, so in this matchup, it's almost impossible to get any bridge control. I'm um, hoping I can... Oh no, missed that. Oh, that's bad luck, because we didn't have Cobo or anything. I'm just gonna take that safe pilot value. Yeah. I know we're still gonna not get the chest, but we're doing some damage. We nearly killed his Baron, and we made, his, we made him use his Cobo. So, I um, don't think we need to do any defense here. I'm actually gonna cycle this, because I can pretty much defend this quite easily. I'm going to tank the safe pilot hit, because I've got safety bubble. And I'll deal with the Huntress with my wolf. Uh, yep, this should be decent. I'm going to distract this like that, and I'm going to crash this. Yep, looks good so far. He's got a Necromancer coming down, so... I'm gonna slow roll a Jaina. Oh, I actually got a chest, I think. Alright, I'm gonna do another cycle of execute, because yeah, I think I've got some advantage here. I just need to cycle back to my safe pilot. Uh, I don't think I need to use it, yeah, because our core is tanking really nicely. So anytime your enemy go down the slope, just use your Jaina and safe pilot and get a ton of value. I'm going to cycle another Execute, and I'm going to be able to defend his Baron just by doing my Murlocs like this. I'm going to crash his save pilot. I mean, crash his Huntress, yeah, so it doesn't get on our tower. Huntress is the only thing I have to actually ignore, because I don't have a good tank for that. 
I'm gonna see if I can get the chest, because his quill ball's out of cycle, so I don't know if he's got skeletons. Yeah, he doesn't have skeletons, so that's game. If we get the chest, we don't need the gold mines. I mean, against Baron, you can't really compete them with gold mines anyway. I'm gonna get another execute in, and this might be a bit tricky. I'm just gonna chain lining this first. Yeah, get rid of the griffin, and then see if I can kill the necromancer. Nice. Um, the prowler should be able to deal with the huntress, and I'm gonna do this. I think I might execute just to on defense. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta execute on defense. Oh, he missed my <laughs> Jaina. Okay, now we can go to the middle. We should be able to get some chests. Yeah, we will get chests. I'm going to block him. Yeah, he's going to block me as well. He saved pilots out of cycle, so I've got the advantage here. I don't think he's back yet. Let's go. Uh, we're getting some damage on the towers, because our range units will make a pass quite well. I'm going to get my Murlocs down because I don't want the safe power to get a shot on our tower. Like, I've got safety bubble because I can sacrifice it to kill it. Always good to kill the Griffin with chain lining if you've got nothing else to do, just cycle it. I feel like the chest is coming up, so I'm going to send... Uh, I'm going to send my safe pilot up top because I need my wolf to counter the Huntress. Yeah, nah, he's trying this little trick with his core ball. Uh, we should be fine. And I'm gonna cycle my execute even though it's three gold. Cause yeah, that's, you don't need to worry about it. I'm hoping it stuns. Oh no, good play with that. Um, core ball. So I've got my own core ball and Jaina does a good job against Huntress even so she's got resistance. I'm gonna tank this and then chain lining to finish off the necromancer. And I'm gonna use my wolf on defense. And I think one more execute. Oh, there you go. And that's how you beat Baron. We have a Baron rematch with this guy. We're gonna play the same strat. We're gonna give up the gold because there's no point going up the gold. You're never gonna get it with the Baron. He's going aggressive with his quill ball, that's interesting. So we got the chest and he sacrificed the quill ball. I'm gonna actually execute this and I'm gonna chain lining this. And I'm gonna do this. And yeah, we got the chest, that's really good. He uses um, save pilot as well, so I can actually go up with a miner for the first time. Chest is not going to spawn unless it's at 240. So I'll just play something about now. And he's not back to save pilot yet, so I can play my troops around the middle. Oh, he is circling his Huntress down though. Um, that's not bad. So I'll cycle or execute. That's cool. Question is, can I get another chest? Can you turn around and get another chest? Nope. Okay. I'll see if I can get some value. Oh no, that's bad. I kind of forgot. I don't have the, I don't have the uh, talent. Oh no, I should know. He plays safe pallet into that spot. Uh, that's cool. I've got my Murlocs for defense. Yep, and Dragon Tower will just melt Baron like this. Uh, we're slightly behind on gold, so I have to play a little bit more passive. I kind of need to get back to my Jaina as well. Alright, I'll get this. Because he just used his core ball on my base. I'm going to execute just to kill the Huntress. Yeah, I don't want any. I don't want to deal with my Huntress. That's going to get the most damage on the tower. I'm going to contest the chest like this. I think he's back to save pilot, but yeah, he can't really... Well, he can do this, but I've got safety bubble for a reason. I think he's, yeah, he's obviously figured out because he knows my supporting cards now. <laughs> um, not to, I suppose, overcommit. I'm going to chain lining this just to get rid of some skeletons. 
and wolf down mid to contest chest. I think we might be able to keep him at bay, or at least get one chest. Nice. I'm gonna get my Murlocs up this time to deny his uh, little miner. Okay, I think he overcommitted there, but who am I to say? I'll quote on defense. And we're up on gold, so I'm gonna cycle or execute. I'll take the value on the save pallet and the core ball. Cause I have to do it when it gets closer anyway. His Huntress doesn't have the stealth talent, so I can go in and take care of it with my wolf. Oh, good timing on the chest. Nice, nice, nice. Can we get both? Might be able to get both. Oh, we might be able to. We will get both. I'll wait for this to lock on and again you can cycle and we're almost down to the last minute. That's where the true power of th this deck is. I can cycle execute about four times maximum in the last minute. And yeah, I'm going to be able to out cycle his execute for sure. I'm going to continue to deny the gold where I can. I uh, probably shouldn't have played into that corner because yeah, he always... He always... Um, Save Palace that corner, but we've got a hard counter against his. Uh, what do you call it? Um, Huntress on our wolf, and that's precisely why we have the wolf. As I'm talking, I'm just cycling executes, and gradually he's losing a lot of health. And in double time, Janus' defense is almost unbreakable. Like, if you play it properly, it's so hard to break it, and I'm not even using my spells on defense. I can use my spells on defense if I want to as well. We got a game against another Baron. So I'm going to just go and get some chest. Yeah. I think we'll get this. Okay, yep, nice. I'll cycle this. And once he gets on the bridge, I should be able to just... Yeah, should be able to just do this. I'll take the save pallet hit. Oh, okay. Interesting corbel. Interesting corbel. I'm gonna protect my little murlocs like this. I'm going to chain lightning to kill off the necromancer because I hate necromancer. Oh man, this is why I hate necromancer, right? This is why I hate necromancer. And he's just going all out like this. What, what is he doing? He's just spamming my base like there's no tomorrow. Um, okay, I'll just chain lining the griffin, and I will have to prowl of this, yeah. Man, Baron's so annoying, no matter what level they are, I tell you what. Yeah, I need to get my chest, so I need to execute this, and he's not gonna, he's not gonna prepare for this, he's not prepared for the execute. Nobody is prepared for the execute early on, trust me guys, you gotta catch them off guard. Yeah, that's a dead corbel, which is great. I'll save power this. If I have to make him use his own save power, that's fine. Uh, we're behind in damage, surprisingly. So, I'm gonna make sure I can deny him the chest. Yeah. Chain Lightning, probably not the best trade, but whatever, Wolf is alive, that's all it that matters. We'll do, we'll do him like this, and okay, we're back to another Wolf, I'll just take some Skeleton hits. I'll try to sneak a Miner up. Oh, the Wolf doing job, doing its job, let's go. He needs the Baron. Yeah, oh, he's late on the Baron. 
I'm just gonna keep up the pressure, just go down mid. Let's just go down mid, because that's all we're gonna do, right? That's all we're gonna do. Just go down mid. Uh, chain lining. Chain lining is always handy against. Um, oh, I think the burn might kill him. Okay, I missed that entirely. I missed that entirely, but fortunately, our wolf carries. Oh, he missed it. He, he just returned the favor. He just returned the favor, man. Um, I think we're good. We're back in the damage lead. Oh man, I scrolled my screen too fast. I got a bit overexcited. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'll just control the bridge. Get our guys down. I'll corbo this. And yeah, start a Jaina at the back. And oh, I think we're good with maybe one other... Yeah, one other... Chain lining, I mean one other execute and we should have this. So guys, with Baron matchup, you don't expect to get any chests, uh, you don't expect to get any gold. Like, it's okay if you don't get any gold. You don't need gold, you just need to contest for one lane. If you can get chest control, and you get a bit of bridge control, you have a good chance of winning. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be back with the next one very soon. Bye!